This is the new Poco F6, successor to the Poco F5, and assuming you are decent enough in mathematics, this all goes back to the legendary Poco F1, which brought killer performance at a killer price. So the legacy has been carried forward, and this, the F6, is supposed to blow our minds, and it's got some changes to the design, the cameras, but you know Poco. The hype has always been about the performance. This is the first phone in India with the new Snapdragon 8 S Gen 3 processor and don't get confused by the S, the 8 S Gen 3 is as 8 series as it gets. It has the same architecture as the flagship 8 Gen 3 processor with the prime Cortex X4 core at 3 GHz, Cortex A720 performance cores at 2.8 GHz and the A520 efficiency cores at 2 GHz. The GPU is also Adreno 7 series, Adreno 735 to be specific and this is Snapdragon Elite Gaming with ray tracing support, Snapdragon Game Super Resolution which upscales graphics in games and there's more. So all in all, very flagship grade but I know what you're here for. Let's talk numbers, benchmarks. In attitude, the score is absolutely killer. The 8S Gen 3 in the Poco F6 scores almost 1.5 million. The Geekbench score is also great, be it single core or multi core. 3D Mark scores are good too, and the stability is also good, which I think is very important in a powerful processor like this. I mean, I also ran the CPU throttling tests on the phone, and I did not find any major throttling issues. And I did check this with multiple tests, and mind you, this is with the Poco F6 set to ultimate mode, which is a high performance mode. So the throttling performance is very good. So clearly, this does great in tests, but I know. What you're thinking does it get hot look i checked the temperature after running the cpu throttling tests and this is pretty normal for a powerful 8 series processor so yeah no overheating so far these tests apart i also wanted to check the gaming performance as well as the graphic settings in the most popular games because this is a fairly new chipset now in bgmi it supports ultra hdr graphics with ultra frame rates and there is also support for smooth plus extreme cod mobile though supports 120 fps gaming which is great and I've been gaming on this. I've been playing a lot of BGM on the max graphics. I've been playing a lot of COD at 120 FPS. And I've also been playing Genshin Impact at high and 60 FPS, which you know is super intensive. And the performance so far has been fantastic. No stutters, almost no frame drops. Yeah, very smooth. Honestly, not just gaming. This feels like a very flagship sort of phone because everything just launches really quickly. Switching between apps is smooth and nice. Yeah, the UFS 4.0 storage and the fast LPDDR5X RAM help here along with obviously the 8S Gen 3. And for people, People wondering, I did a storage test on the phone and yeah, the score is incredible as you can see. The 8S Gen 3 also packs in powerful on-device AI performance and I did run i2 to the AI benchmark and just see how quickly it finishes up these AI tasks and yeah, the score is obviously great. And I like that the AI in the chipset here powers a lot of camera features in the Poco F6 along with features like active visual perception and contactless gestures. Connective device to the 8S Gen 3 is great. There's all the 5G bands with the fast X75 5G modem, Bluetooth 5.4 is here and there's NFC as well. 8S Gen 3 also brings the triple 18-bit Spectra ISP with Snapdragon low light vision and we can't talk about the camera, the display or any other details in the Poco F6 yet but yeah stay tuned. See to conclude things the Poco F series has always been all about killer performance at a killer price tag and this the new Poco F6 does bring killer performance. Yes I've only tested the phone briefly but it's pretty clear that the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 is a fantastic choice for the Poco F6. It's very powerful and so far seems well optimized too. Now I don't know the final price of the phone but this could be a killer option for anyone looking for a powerful smartphone. Now I'm hearing rumors that this will launch around 35k so I want to ask you guys what do you guys think of the Poco F6, the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 at the rumored price. Comment down below and thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new here and see you in the next one.